هاي ومانا التحدي سلمتي ودمتي وكنت الأمان سلاما سلاما بلادي سموتي سلاما Okay, and so now what I would like to do next is basically to write and store or save all the movie data onto the Firebase database. Okay, so all of this data will now be stored and saved onto Firebase. Okay, so first and foremost, let's make absolutely sure that the Firebase is up and running and is connected. So let's go to Tools, Firebase, let's take a look at the Assistant. Okay, let's click on this real time database. Let's click on this one. And yes, we are connected and everything is working just fine. Okay. And so uh, we're right in here. Okay. And let's, let's write a, a new path. Okay. So let's say favorite movies. And in here, my friends, let's just simply write movie list. Okay. So basically, this line of code in here gets an instance of the Firebase database and then in this line, we will get a reference to this path here, to the favorite movies, and finally, we will set the value. And that's it. That's it, my friends. That's how simple it is, see? And so, uh, let me just organize my, my code a little bit. First of all, let's add an on-click listener, which basically says, if the data is written successfully, we will get a message to tell us that. Okay, that would be nice, right? Okay, so let's do that. Add on success listener right a new on success listener right so on success we will have this message in here toast which would say for example movie data saved successfully right and what's more is add an on failure listener as well so somewhere in here Okay, let's just have dot add on failure listener. Okay, new on failure listener. All right, and this time let's write, let's have another toast. So tab, let's write movie data could not be saved. All right, and that's it. Okay, and how about we put all of this code into a method, it's on write method, okay? So let's, so let's highlight part of this, okay? Let's right click, refactor, and let's extract a method, okay? And for the method, let's give it this name, write uh, movie data to files, okay? And that's it, let's refactor that, right? So as you can see, the method is right here, and it should hopefully work. Okay, so let's now test it. Let's see. So here's the uh, Firebase data. Okay, hopefully that will update in real time. And this is our emulator. Okay, so what we need to do is basically to rerun our app. Let's do that. And at the same time, let's keep an eye on this one. Okay. And yeah, how? As you can see, uh, movies, the movie data has indeed been stored in here. Okay, see all of them, the 12 of them, starting from 0 all the way to 11. So if we uh, expand this, this is the data for, uh, the, for the first movie, then this is the data for the second movie, and so on and so forth, all the way to the last movie. Okay? And um, by the way, by the way, as you can see in here, the indexes are relatively simple indexes, starting from 0 all the way to 11. Now, in the real world, in the production scenarios, that should not be the case. We should have some sort of unique IDs or GUIDs, okay? And we could do that relatively simply using a method called the dot push method, which will automatically, by the way, which will automatically uh, provide us with these unique IDs. But let's just keep things simple. Let's not go down that path right now, okay? Let's keep that for later. And that's it, the end. Thank you and happy coding.